What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, Happy New Year first off. This is going to be the first video for 2021 on the channel. Um, I'm super excited for 2021. I have a ton of plans, not only for things I want to put on the Jeep, build for the Jeep, but places I want to go and travel and camp. So uh, I have a lot of stuff planned. It's going to be a fun time. So if you're new here, I'm Lucas. This is my brother Aaron. How's it going? Uh, in some of my previous videos, my dad is in there and we are just a Jeep family. My mom and dad built Jeeps and bought and sold them before we were even born. And as we were born and raised, we uh, just kind of grew up around them. And it's turned into all of us owning a Jeep, driving Jeeps, and now it's turned into us building them for fun and just having a good time with it. So it's kind of a family thing. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. In the, in the last video, I said if you guys wanted to see a walk around of my brother's LJ, just to ask, and enough people asked, and I was like, okay, you know what, we'll do it. So it's a clean build, and uh, we'll walk through it right now. All right, so this is a 2005 LJ. I've had it for about five years now. Um, I'm in college, so it's kind of like a budget build. And once I graduate, I'll be able to do more of what I like or what I dream of this being. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how it was for both of us when we were in college. and we, we got both of our Jeeps when they were completely stock, nothing special. And uh, we pretty much built them as we could afford to build them in terms of like a budget build type thing. And now that I'm out of college and have a job, I can afford to do the things I've always wanted to do. And uh, yeah, so it's been it's been fun kind of starting to build that dream Jeep. So he he's still building on a budget, um, a lot of rough country, Smitty built stuff, but it's been built really well and it's done everything he's wanted it to. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start with the walk around here now. Okay, so we're gonna first start at the front of the Jeep and what Aaron is running up here. So yeah, I got a uh, somebody built front bumper. I like the uh, look of like the aggressive stinger, but nothing like too over the top. So I kind of like how it's still small and compact, but still aggressive. Um, I've got a 9,500 pound rough country winch with a synthetic rope. So for the headlights, they're just, I think they're like a cheap, set of LED lights we got off Amazon. I'm not sure of the uh, brand though, but they do what I need them to do. Yeah, they're super bright. Yeah, um, and then for this little bar right here, I think it's about a six, six inch amber uh, LED bar that I got off Amazon as well. And then these are just three quarter inch uh, LED lights that fit in perfectly with the uh, Smittybilt front fenders. And you had um, to do that because you got rid of your Well yeah, because the stock fenders had turn signals and I wanted to do something different uh, I've never seen any other Jeep with those yeah. uh, amber LED lights as signals, so just something different and unique. So for my hood latches here, uh, these are Drake off-road hood latches. I wanted to switch it up from those brittle stock ones, uh, so that was a nice upgrade. Um, Smitty built front fenders. They're nice and sturdy. I do want to end up upgrading to like aluminum, like Gen Right fenders or something in the future. Um, 37 inch Toyo RTs and Ion Alloy wheels, just a cheap set of aluminum wheels. Uh, perfect for off roading, so you don't have to worry about scraping up some nice wheels. Yeah, plus they don't rust. So. Yeah, that too. And I've experienced the same thing. You get rock rash around the ring a little bit and uh, they, they just don't rust. So that's nice about those. So for lighting, I have two inch by two inch rough country pods. Um, they work really well when I don't want to use my light bar on back roads and stuff like that. Um, and that's a uh, rough country black series uh, light bar there. I eventually want to get the black series for the pods and kind of like complete the clean look. I'm going for that blacked out look. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We've both run rough country's lighting and I, I love the slim look and the black series. I just love how it, it, it fits the Jeep. It doesn't look big and bulky up top. And uh, 
we've had great customer service with Rough Country. Anytime something were to fail, they sent us a brand new whatever it is. So, like, I had a, a light bar after, I think, two or three years. It started, uh, like, fogging up and getting some water in it. Sent them a picture, and they're like, okay, we'll send you a brand new one. All right, so we're going back to the rear. We're moving our way to the rear of the Jeep. So what kind of fenders are you running? Uh, same as the front, Smitty Bolt rear fenders. I got the whole set. Um, nice and sturdy. If I need to step on them, I can. Don't have to worry about breaking them. So cool. I like them. Yep, same tire and wheel setup, of course. Um, right, and we're moving to the rear of the Jeep now. All right, so for my tail lights, I have Maxville uh, trail tails. Uh, super nice, super bright. Just installed those a couple days ago, actually. Hey, um, got those for Christmas, right? Yeah, I did. Um, rear bumper and tire carrier is a uh, rough country. I like it a lot because it has this uh, aluminum handle here that opens up, and this swings out uh, independently from the bumper and your tailgate. Um, yeah, so when he was looking for a new bumper, there's a ton of options that he was considering and uh, for the price you just you can't beat this bumper and have you had it for what six months maybe eight months yeah something like so. that and it's it holds up to everything and or I also like how tall this tire is on the back which is something he likes as well and you can actually adjust this up and down which is cool okay so now we are gonna go start talking about your suspension so yeah so it's just a four inch rough country lift um it came with a one inch body lift but that hasn't been put on yet i don't know if i'm going to put it on but eventually i want to upgrade to a four inch long arm in the future but we'll see where we go from here yeah so he uh i don't drive his jeep often but when he does wheel it and takes it off road and does stuff like that uh, we don't do any crazy trails with it, but for what he does, it's it's perfect. All right, what do you got going underneath the hood? Uh, one of my favorite things about my Jeep is the Rough Country hydraulic system that you know props your hood up. You don't have to worry about reaching up there and pulling down your hood prop. Um, so I enjoy that a lot, and also I have a Banks uh, air, cold air intake. Just to add a little bit more power, it might not be noticeable, but you know, it's, yeah, it's helps some, in a way. Get some cleaner air in there. Yeah. Um, I also have a Banks exhaust uh, system, so we can start that up for you guys. Okay, so that is pretty much concludes uh, the walk around of his Jeep. Um, super quick, uh, somewhat detailed kind of, but not, we didn't go super in depth, but uh, in the interior, we just didn't think to add anything because it is pretty much a stock interior. He doesn't have much going on besides some seat covers and some subwoofers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so nothing special in there, but uh, yeah, like we previously said, this is his first vehicle and he's still in college, so he's got a lot of plans for it in terms of stuff he wants to add and upgrade in the future when he has a full-time job and the money to uh, do it like I'm doing now. So yeah, if you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna follow us on Instagram, I'm Craft Off Road. It's Craft underscore Off Road and he is Craft LJ. Craft underscore LJ. So, yeah, so that's it. If you want to see more content, please hit the subscribe button and uh, give this video a thumbs up. And the next video should be posted later this week coming up. So, hopefully, like Friday or Saturday. Peace. See ya.